Okay, let's begin with something that's not arguable. How about from a satellite view, the Vatican turns into an upside down cross at the bottom of a keyhole. Then as you come in at a 45 degree angle from the head of the cross that's upside down, it turns into a serpent wearing a crown. And then if you zoom back out and you look closely, you can see another serpent that is birthing directly out of the Vatican being a serpent wearing a crown and audience hall is another serpent birthing out of it. That is called Parthenogenesis, Virgin Genesis. And that religion worships the Virgin. Okay, that is established now. Now, let's look at the reality of some of the vocabulary in the Bible. Jesus said, do not your own scriptures say, quote, I have said ye are gods in John 10, 34. And then he said, and the scriptures cannot be broken. He was telling that to the Jews because they wanted to stone him. But yet he used the word of God. He used the scriptures to show the the Jews that were going to stone him that they were in error because their own scriptures said, do not your own scriptures say, I have said you are God's Elohim. So the word is Elohim for gods. He was quoting Psalm 82, and he was showing them that their very own scriptures say that they are gods. Elohim is gods, angels, and magistrates. Okay, now let's look at who Jesus is. We're told in the book of Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 7, that behold, the virgin shall conceive, and she shall bring forth the son, and you shall call his name Emmanuel. Imanu means with us is, and then El, the Almighty God. So the name of the Almighty God that will be birthed into the flesh via a virgin because the Holy Spirit will overshadow her. So therefore, the virgin will conceive a son, and let's look at that as a box, just a shell, a shell that will house the Holy Spirit from heaven, God's Spirit. And that spirit is from El, the Almighty God. So El, the Almighty God, comes into a host body, a shell. And the spirit that occupies that shell is called the Holy Spirit. So El's spirit is the Holy Spirit. And the name of that everyone's supposed to call him is Emmanuel. And then they call him Jesus, Jesus which means also Yehoshua. Okay, so now you have the Holy Spirit in a host body, and the name of the host body is Jesus. And Isaiah said, we are to call him with us is El, Emmanuel, with us is El, the Almighty God. Now, in Psalm 22, when David was crying out to God, he calls out, And he says, El, El, why art thou so far from me? So he reaches out in prayer and he identifies the almighty God as El, the same exact name that we were to call the coming Messiah, Emmanuel. He says it twice, El, El. Okay, now when Jesus himself was crucified on the cross, Jesus cried out in anguish and he cried out and he said, Ali, Ali, Lama Sabachthani. And Ali, Ali is El, El. Because Jesus is El, the Almighty God in the flesh. So if El, the Almighty God created, uh, and he created Jesus in the system through the Holy Spirit, The only one that Jesus would cry out to is his father in heaven. So when he's crying out to his father in heaven, his father's name is El. El is pronounced Ali, Ali, Laba Sabachthani. And so now if you go to Genesis 1, where the contention with the entire world has been, because CNN, MSNBC, and many other mainstream news outlets are complete liars. 
no one would have thought that all these news outlets are complete fake news and disinformation and all the only reason they are there is to give you disinformation and to carry water for their group that they serve now you're finding out that mainstream churches and religious organizations are identical to CNN, MSNBC, fake news and fake religion. They are fake organizations and they're teaching absolutely Genesis 1 incorrectly on purpose and they are hiding the meaning of the word God in Genesis 1. The word God in Genesis 1 where it says, God said, let us make man in our image. It is Elohim said, let us make man in our image. Elohim means God's angels and magistrates. Now remember, Jesus was in the flesh. He was El, the almighty God in the flesh. And he even looked at the Jews in John chapter 10, verse 34. And he said, for which good works are you going to stone me? And and they said, for good works, we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, because you being a man, make yourself equal to God. That is when Jesus held everyone accountable and said, do not your own scriptures say, quote, I have said ye are gods. And he was quoting Psalm, uh, he was quoting Psalm 82, which says ye are gods. And the word for gods is Elohim. Now it is clearly identified that El, the Almighty God, which is Jesus, Jesus is El, the Almighty God in the flesh. He was convicting everybody by letting them know you are Elohim, but you're going to die like men. So they're gods, but now they're trapped in host bodies and they're going to die like men unless they turn back to the Almighty God, which is Jesus, L is Jesus in the flesh, and now it's been proven. So in Genesis 1, when Elohim said, let us make man in our image, the word image is Salem, and it means a representative figure, especially an idol. Well, everybody knows the Lord God hates idols. And so the host body system is an idol, and it was the trap used to destroy God's angels. So now we have absolute proof in the scriptures and the scriptures bear it out. Jesus is El, the almighty God. The father in heaven is El. And in Genesis one, Elohim said, let us create man in our image. And the word image is an idol. It means a phantom. It means an illusion and a representative figure, especially an idol. So there is no longer any way for Elohim to hide or for the powers that be to try and trick people in never knowing the identity of the almighty God and thereby and thereby knowing your own identity because our identity is hidden in Christ because we've been inverted in the system so now it makes total sense everything makes total sense that's why when you invert the version It becomes a dead sheep because we are the sheep. And their goal was to get us in a host body for complete destruction. Now all the imagery and all the folders I have makes makes 100% total sense. And now we understand why the Vatican is a snake. Now we understand why the snake is eating angels in the form of a big dead sheep. And then we understand why that big dead sheep is made up of male and female reproductive systems representing Genesis 1 where Elohim said, let us create man in our image. So in the image of Elohim created he him, male and female created he them. So the host body system, male and female, was created by Elohim and it has to be redeemed by El, the Almighty God. Therefore, it could never ever be true that Genesis 1 is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. When it says, God said, let us make man in our image. The word for God is Elohim. It is not El. So that mystery is completely solved and put to rest now. No one can argue with it because this is the word of God and this is absolute perfection in understanding. And it makes sense finally of everything. All glory to God.